Will the stock market continue to squeeze? Can the NASDAQ make it all the way back up to the upper channel? Today, when we look at the futures market, we can see that early on, even before the opening bell, they were starting to rally the market up higher. Last night, they sold it off a little bit, but pre-market, they were already buying in anticipation of what was gonna go on during the FOMC statement and more importantly, Jay Powell's press conference today. And now the question is, will that continue? Is there gonna be a catalyst that could actually derail this short squeeze rally? When we look at the economic calendar for tomorrow, we can see that BOE has their monetary policy statement. Now, I don't think that's gonna change our markets one way or the other. Then we have our unemployment claims coming in at 8.30 a.m. Then we have factory orders coming in at 10 a.m., which should be a low impact news items, not gas, and then all attentions are gonna are gonna come till after the bell. After the bell, we have one of the most important stocks in the stock market reporting earnings, and that would be Apple. And so far, Apple has been able to fend off of completing this ABC pattern down at 164.87. However, after earnings, will it be able to sustain not feeling that level? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment sections down below. Also, speaking about the economic calendar, going back to that, should I say, keep in mind, Friday is going to be a huge day in terms of economic news. We have the average hourly earnings. We have the non-farm employment change. We have the unemployment rate, and we have ISM services PMI. So again, we have a lot of news and things that could either propel the market much higher or bring the market back down to reality. And one of the things that we could see for him today was if you look at the 10 year yield, 10 year yield coming on down lower, basically that hanging man candle has been confirmed. We are drifting lower. Are we going to close the gap? We come over and we look at the 10 year bond, 10 year bond getting a bid up higher today. And that is going to favor lowering rates in the market. However, where lower rates actually favor, you know, Jay Powell and company not doing anything in the future. We take a look at gold, gold today, trying to have a, a little bit of a move back down towards a point of control and maybe even the 38% Fibonacci retracement level. Come over and look at crude oil, crude oil breaking down below this line as of yesterday. Crude oil has an ABC completion down at 76.45. Let's see if crude oil can continue to melt lower. If so, that is going to be good for us, the consumer at the gas pumps. However, if crude oil can get all the way back above 90, then we're going to say that ABC pattern has been invalidated and it ends up being a busted pattern. Keep in mind, nothing works 100% of the time, but I do like where the ABC pattern comes into play just below the swing low over here and kind of in this minus development area on the volume profile. Now, as we come over and look at NVIDIA, NVIDIA already broke the neckline. NVIDIA getting a rally out there today up 15.45 points and up almost 4% on this session. We take a look at Microsoft. Keep in mind, I, Microsoft has this double bottom pattern, which if it completes, will take us above the highs from 2023. Do you guys think Microsoft can make it back above the highs before the end of the year? Let me know in the comment section down below. Now when we come over and look at the Russell 2000. It has been the weakest of the indices. We're finally starting to get across to the lines. Will the Russell be able to make it back towards this magnet zone about 169.24 up to about 170.47? Also, the diamonds getting a nice rally up and we're getting closer towards that upper trend line, that declining trend line to the downside. Are we going to find resistance there or will, will we be able to break through and potentially come all the way up towards a point of control at 338.65? Now, as we look at the QQQs, we can see we're in a declining channel. We completed multiple ABC patterns. And I warned you guys about this several days ago that the market normally does something other than continue in that direction once it completes an ABC pattern. And really this time has, has been no different. And what I mean by that is we came down, we completed one ABC pattern and the second one all in the same day, we came down towards a lower trend line. We have since we rejected, and we've actually been able to break through this magnet area that I was talking about previously. Now, the next area is really up here about 359.01, which is going to be this next high volume area. However, before we get there, I do want to measure A to B equals C to D. And we can see that the 50% retracement is just slightly higher than where we are now. But the 61.8 will come in at 361.74. As we dive down and look at some of the other time frame charts, so looking at the four hour chart, we can see we have a nice MACD cross and we're actually got back above this prior swing point over here. So that is one check mark over for the bulls. Also, when we look at this on the hourly chart, we can see the MACD indicator has had a good separation of the lines rising up at about a 45 degree angle. 
And now the question is, where are we gonna, you know, basically stop at? We almost came and filled the gap today. We got right into gap resistance. Are we gonna have a little retracement back down or are we gonna continue to rally all the way up, fill in the gap? And fill in the gap does make sense at this point. We don't have a lot of news tomorrow. We do have some news. And if Apple comes out with good earnings, Apple can by itself put the market on its back and come over here and fill these gaps. As we look at the 30 minute volume profile charts, what did I tell you guys this morning? This morning, I said, if we get above value area high and we stay above it, which we gapped up, then we're looking for higher prices. And one of the targets was in this gap, the bottom of the gap, all the way to the top of the gap. We did not quite make it to the top of the gap, but we did make it there. We never got back below value area high, which said we need to stay looking for buy side trade. So anybody that used this as part of your analysis, hopefully you found benefits in that. Now, tomorrow it's going to be critical. Look how low value area high is compared to where we close. Are we going to get a dip down towards that price point tomorrow? That is most certainly something we want to pay attention to. And I'll cover that in tomorrow morning's video that I drop each day before the market opens. Now, before we come over and we look at this messy SPY chart, if you guys aren't yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below and don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. But as we look at this, we've already you know broken the rising channel. Now we have a decline in channel. We've successfully defended the lower trend line. We've come back up towards the magnet zone. Now the question is, are we gonna make it towards this next high volume area of the profile about 427.15? When we zoom this out, we can also see that we have not completed the ABC pattern to the downside at 406. And this could actually be setting up another ABC pattern within an ABC pattern. So we do wanna be mindful of that as well. Looking at this on the four hour chart, we can see essentially we had MACD divergence. We have got the push up and out. Now the question is, look at this chart. Are we gonna form some type of inverse head and shoulders pattern, being this being the left shoulder, this being the red and the right shoulder still to form out here in the future, which would then give us you know further price appreciation to the upside. Now I wanna make everybody aware, Apex is having a massive 90% sale off all their valuation accounts. And if you wanna take advantage of this offer, Use the link in the description box down below and use the promo code Mike at checkout. We look at this on the one hour chart, MACD screaming up and we have a good separation of the lines. We're not seeing any, any, you know, slowing down of the momentum at this point using the MACD indicator on the 30 minute chart. We, however, is a little bit different. The MACD indicator pinched together, tried to cross back up. However, this is a little bit troublesome, just like we called the MACD divergence down here at these lows and keep in mind, nothing works hundred percent of the time, but just like we called that over here, look what we have over in this area as well. If we look at the high where the MACD indicator kind of peaked out at, now price has come up and made a higher high. However, the MACD indicator at this point really has not. And we look over to the left, you can see we almost filled the gap today. We were so close. We were almost there. However, we were not close enough to actually fill the gap. So now the question is, will we fill the gap tomorrow? Or are we going to start trading back lower because now we have a gap lower that was formed from today. Then we have the gap even lower from Monday as well. So we do have some lower gaps that could come into sight in the very near future. Now when we come over, we look at the composite profile real quick in the weekly volume profile levels. One thing to know, all right, we had an ABC pattern. We more than completed that. We talked about this last night and this morning as well. That came in at 4240.34. That has now been completed. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this off the charts. Then we also talked about having price come up and test this high volume area about 20, uh, 42, 45, and even down here a little bit lower at 42, 30-ish, 42, 27, somewhere in that ballpark. We also talked about the point of control, 42, 64. All of those levels have now been hit. Now the question is, do we continue to rotate all the way up to 42, 82.75? Or are we going to start falling back down, trying to fill some of these gaps? And if we look, look how far away the gap is from Sunday. And we know some traders are feeling pain. Those traders that are trapped short, well, unfortunately, they're getting squeezed at the moment. And the question is, will the squeeze continue? Because as we look at this, we still have several days. We have two more days left in this week. But we have this high probability target from last week that did not get filled at 43.29.00. Now, I do think it would be one heck of a feat for the market to make it all the way up there, but who knows, crazier things has have happened. So we do wanna watch that. We wanna pay close attention to that. However, if we start to get a pullback, I do wanna play some of these volume areas on the way down as well. 
First one being about 42.45, then back down here about 42.30, then below that, maybe about 42.17. And that kind of lines up with the swing point right over here as well. If we start breaching even lower, we're looking at 41.91 and potentially 41.76. Now, as we look at the daily volume profile levels, we have value area high all the way up here at 42.64.75. The point of control comes in at 42.57.25. Value area low will come in at 42.26.75. And as I'm looking at this, I do think that, you know, we are likely going to hit this point of control tonight or maybe even, you know, right before we close, close somewhere around that price point. And this gives us three consecutive untested point of controls. However, tonight or, or tomorrow, we are likely going to hit this level. The question is, how long before we come all the way down and hit the 4187 point of control? Will it be today? Will it be this week? And one other stat that I want to make you guys aware of is the gap that we have down here lower from Sunday night in the futures market. If that gap does not fill by the close on Thursday, so at, by five o'clock on Thursday, if that gap has not been filled, normally it's going to take a few weeks before we come back and test that level. So if you're you know really focused on this level, tomorrow is going to be critical because if we don't start making our way down there tomorrow to fill it, it probably will not get filled this week. And if we look at how far we have pushed away from that at this moment, I just don't see how we're going to make our way all the way down there. We're talking 117 S&P points. And if we look at this in terms of a percent drop, we'd have to see a drop of 2.76% tomorrow, which I don't think is going to be in the cards, but crazier things have happened. Now, as we come over, we look at the NASDAQ real quick. We can see we made it all the way above value area high from the prior week. And the NASDAQ has been squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. And the question is, will the NASDAQ continue possibly going all the way towards value area low, all the way up here at 14,979.50? I seriously doubt we hit that level this week. But like I said, crazier things have happened. And when we look at this, if we start trading below 14,684.75, then we have the potential for a rotation back lower in the market. And one of the first levels I'd want to focus on to the downside would be about 14,621, then right over here at about 14,476, then down here towards the point of control at 14,319.25. Anything below that, I'd really be looking for the gap to come down and be filled. Now we look at this on the daily volume profile charts. Now notice from this morning, all right, if you guys paid close attention this morning, what did I say? If we are below value area low from the overnight session, we get back above it. We are looking to be buy side the market unless we get above value area high and then we start coming back down. We did not. We had a little blip there. We got quickly got right back above it. And then from that point on, you knew you should be on the long side of the market. If you're short, you are wrong, plain and simple. Doesn't mean we won't have a correction back lower. And when we look at this on the 30 minute chart, we also have an A to B equal C to D pattern. And if we look, this would complete up here about 14,796.23. So a little bit higher than where we're currently at in this market. So now the question is, are we going to squeeze up towards that price point? And when we look down here, we're also closing above value area high. To me, this is a very high probability target. So if you guys come to the stream tonight, you probably will see me involved in this trade. And that comes in at 14,677.00. The point of control comes in at 14,602.25. Value area low will come in at 14,516.50. So tonight, my MO is going to be as long as we open at six o'clock above value area high, I'm automatically going to be looking to target this level. However, I'll be playing this play with the micros. Any big plays, I always use the micros. And if you also look, we are going to have two consecutive untested point of controls, but one from today and the one all the way down here from yesterday at 14,399.25. Now, if you guys would like to see the volume profile settings that I use for TradingView, watch this video right here.